Gentlemen. It's up to the Sonics to convince the Bulls and the basketball public that they have come here as true foes, not mere foils. Anybody want to go over anything? Danny, Bennett? The Rock. Go, 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 go. each other out there and be proud of what oh, you've yeah. done. Go now go out there and be big. Go, 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 go that way, baby. Now stay, stay still. Here we go. What's going on? The Sonics were determined to prove themselves worthy opponents and came out in full force. Skips over to Kemp out on the wing. Fires over a long leg. John Kemp with an 18-footer. The Bulls had not played in over a week. And early on, their game was, uncharacteristically, shaky. And Kemp has been unstoppable here in the early moments, three for three. We knew that Seattle was going to come in and try to steal either one or two on our home floor. And what you want to be is sharp and ready for that. And that was our greatest worry coming in. Paris! Paris! The Chicago Bulls, it has been a long layoff. 33! Right now, their hope is that they're going to get an offensive rebound or a long rebound or a loose ball or a steal. No turnovers, no rebounds. The poor shooting continues by Chicago. Rebound grab by Kemp. Outlet pass to Payton. Ahead to Johnson. Sneaks down the floor. To the glass. Lays it up and in. Sonics playing great basketball. All cylinders working right now. The Bulls. Rust is starting to set in. Block here. Everything coming up Sonics here in the early going. Let's go, Bulls! Let's go, Bulls! Let's go, Bulls! Urged on most of all by their own burning desire, the Bulls, as they had done all year, found a way to come back. Marking their first finals appearance, Ron Harper and Luke Longley carried much of the early load before turning over the spotlight to the ultimate clutch performer. Michael. Brilliant as always in the face of unyielding pressure, Michael Jordan once again turned the finals into his own personal stage. And his first field goal. And Jordan is being guarded by Wingate. Take it, Michael! Take it, Michael! Jordan to the court. With Jordan and the Bulls applying the pressure, Seattle was about to self-destruct. Serious trouble. Stay right here. Flagrant. Flagrant. Two. Joe Crawford going to call a flagrant foul. I got a flagrant foul. It's a flagrant foul. We got two shots and possession. The conversation continues. Flagrant foul. And a technical control. Absolutely uncalled for situation. Come out here, Bob. Come on, come on. Come on. No, we just talking to him. We just trying to let him know That's not what right, they were doing. That's not right. He has a flagrant foul and then two technicals. We're going to just see a parade to the line. Now Chicago had a chance to open it up a bit here. Midway through the third quarter, the Sonics found themselves down by 11 in desperate need of inspiration. Be aggressive. Whatever you do, be aggressive. Don't be soft. Chicago up seven. Kemp goes to work. Turns on Longley. Left hands one up and in off the window. Shot Kemp. And don't give up on your shooting. Pass not. Let the three shoot. Deadlift shrimp. Hoists in a three pointer. And the Sonics trail at 71 67. Oh, this does not look good. A 10 point lead. All of a sudden, we could match up on defense. Get back. Deadlift up the center of the floor, behind the back dribble in the flow, spots the seam, stops, pops to tie, he got it! And the game is tied at 75. Right now, I think Chicago's a little concerned. So what we're doing is this. We're taking Tony, we're standing him out here. Just when Tony Kukoc seemed like a forgotten man in the postseason, he re-emerged. They drop it in now to Kukoc, right side. Shrimp is there. Kukoc for the fourth it is Kukoc, fires three, and buries it from the right-hand side. His jumper has been absent throughout the whole 